My name is Alan Brandt, and I'm a founding partner in the uh, in Entogenics, and we're developing some very interesting new mosquito uh, control technologies based on, on the larvicide, uh, larvicide and controlling the larvae. Chasing the adults doesn't really work. You have to control mosquitoes at the larval stage. And our technology is built around a, a small protein molecule called a peptide, which uh, has been called, given the name, trypsin modulating homostatic factor, or TMOF. Now, T TMOF is a very interesting molecule. It's only 10 amino acids long, but it's the uh, signal that the mosquito uses to tell its digestive cells to stop making digestive proteases. As a consequence of not being able to make digestive proteases, uh, the insect would, would starve to death, even though they have plenty of food. And so the TMOF represents a very novel mechanism of action of actually starving the mosquitoes without having any other effects on any other insects in the environment. So no, no non-target effects. The TMOF is target specific, non-toxic to non-targets, biodegradable, and it, because it's biodegradable, it does not accumulate in the environment and does not accumulate in other species. So basically, to all other species, it's just plain food. Now, we've taken the TMOF molecule and incorporated that for expression into a non-pathogenic yeast strain called Picciopastorus. This is a very safe uh, strain, commonly used in the pharmaceutical industry to make uh, pharmaceutical biomolecules. And uh, grow them up, and then we 100% kill the yeast. There's no living organisms left in here. As a matter of fact, what we would call this product would be food. For us, it would be food, but it's lethal for the mosquitoes. And what we've done is combine this with another mosquito biolarvicide called Bacillus thuringiensis israeliensis, or BTI. And together, they work synergistically. They're mutually synergistic which means that they help each other work better and more efficiently. The TMOF molecule causes the uh, mosquito larvae to starve, which allows the BTI toxic proteins to bind to the gut wall of the mosquito and have their toxic effect. <coughs> and by lysing the cells in, in the midgut, it also allows more TMOF. And so you have a, a tiered effect that makes it mutually synergistically. Uh, active and up to a hundredfold increase in activity uh, over the, either BTI by itself or the TMOF by itself. That's the basis of the extreme efficacy of mousticide products. Now we have formulated this the BTI and the TMOF into two separate products. One we've incorporated one onto rice husk, a uh, product called Mousticide RH, and this product is designed to be hand broadcast or machine broadcast out into the environment uh, by either by professional or non-professionals. Uh, the second product is uh, Moosticide Wettable Powder. This is designed for professional use in high pressure, ultra low volume spray apparatuses that are commonly employed uh, with uh, neurotoxic chemical insecticides. This is Moosticide WP is completely non-toxic, except uh, it's lethal for the mosquitoes. And so this is a, a way of having large-scale area applications by professionals to uh, control the mosquitoes and the diseases that the mosquitoes vector.